The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. This is one of my favorite stories. So, a maisa, you know, you could repeat over and over, so please be mindful of me also. Have you heard this story already? But it's a gewaldige maisa. There were these two tzaddikim, Cheska Magid, Schusi Yelena, Rabbi Avram from Trisk, and and Rebendel of Orca, who were best friends. And they grew up, they were inseparable, but then it came time for them to separate. And each one had to go and to do, to start to build a Malchus of Yiddishkeit. So in the beginning, there was only a, a forest that separated them. Each one was in a town across from the forest. And they made an agreement with each other that every year of Shabbos they would send a letter back and forth from Trisk, from the Triska Magid to the Mendel of Orca. They would send a letter. Have you did this, a friendship? What's going on? Ideas in Torah and so on. And they needed a volunteer who had agreed to deliver the letter back and forth from the Tzaddikim and there was a Jew. We'll just call him Yankel, whatever. And the seed Yankel got the job, which very often took the entire era of Shabbos and cut into his Parnassah quite a bit. Erev Shabbos is a busy day. But he faithfully for years went from Chiska Magid to Mandelavorka. Then he would wait for Mandelavorka, would write a letter in response, and would deliver a letter back, and he went like this back and forth. Rotsavashayf. So once he was delivering the letter, you know, rain, snow, sleet, hail. Once he was delivering the letter, and he got a Yitzhahara, you know, you always can justify, find some explanation. I'm doing this for so long, it's such mysterious nefesh that I'm doing this. I, I, I'm entitled to see a little bit what the Tzaddik writes, you know. So, uh, so he did what you're not allowed to do. And he opened up the letter from the Chiska Magid. He opened up the letter. And I'm sure many of you know the story that what the letter, the paper was totally blank. It was a blank piece of paper. He couldn't believe it. What kind of a cruel game is this? I, I, I gave it my whole Erev Shabbos, my Parnassah, to run back and forth through the, the, this mud and filth to deliver. He gives a blank piece of paper. This is what they do. He was so angry and hurt. But he had no choice. He went, he closed it, made it look good, and he delivered it to Mendela. And Mendel Horka was so happy to see him. Yankel, oh, I was waiting for Yankel, Yankel. So he, he goes into the room, and Yankel's waiting for him like a half hour. And he, he comes out with an envelope, and he says, please, go get go in good health, and have a good Shabbos. Please give this to my friend, Rabbi Vermela. So here, he just the second, like he leaves the house, he opens this up. He doesn't wait for the forest. He leaves the house and he says, what, I'd like to see how you answer the first letter. <laughs> so he opens up this letter, totally blank. So he said, they're both crazy people and, and I'm like a, a, a part of their game. So he went, he closed it up and he went. And he goes in there before Shabbos and he, oh, your uncles do. I was waiting for you to come back with a letter. He says, hey, here's the letter. And he went. Shabbos, he didn't daven in the Bishop Manish. He davened somewhere else. He couldn't look at the, he couldn't look at the rabbi. He couldn't look at him. Not Friday night, not Shabbos. Mincha doesn't come to shul. He davened someplace else. What's the Shabbos? After Avdola, the Cheskavag, says to his gab, go and, and, and get, get Yankel and bring him to me. Brought Yankel. Yankel can't even look at the rabbi. And the Rebbe says, Yankel, what's wrong? He says, what's wrong, Rebbe? Rebbe, you don't know what's wrong. He says, what's wrong? Rebbe, you, you know, for whatever, five, six years, I'm going in the heat and the snow, I'm going with letters. So he says, yeah, I appreciate it. I always, I always tell you how much I appreciate it. Yeah, but Rebbe, this time, I did, I did not have error. I looked at your, I looked at your letter. And the Rebbe asked him, no, 
What, what, what do you mean, no? There was nothing on the letter. It was blank. No. And then I went, I went, of course, to Mandel, and I gave him the letter. I don't know what he's sitting in the room. They're crying for something. I give him this letter, and I, and I hear him crying. And he's in the room, and then he gives me a letter. And, and then I was saying, yeah, no. No. I looked at it right away the second I left his house. I looked at this, at this letter. Hey, yeah, no. No. It was the same like your letter. Nothing. He says, I'm just, I'm sorry, I can't dive in here anymore. I can't be here anymore. It's cruel. So the Rebbe said to him, listen, Yankum, you know what a Sefer Torah looks like. There are black letters and there's white parchment. And you know, Yankum, that the secrets of the white parchment are infinitely deeper because it tells us what the black letters, how every letter is a way of Hashem showing His love to us, which we don't see, we don't understand. So usually, I want you to know, most of the letters that you delivered back and forth had black letters and white parchment. But sometimes the longing is so great and the love is so strong between us that we can't write the black letters, we just send the white parchment. I had a Talmud that was learning Yerushalayim back in the days when letters were written. And I hadn't received a letter from him for a while. Finally, I got a letter and I opened it up. I was excited. It just said on the bottom, love Shmuel. It was blank. Because of the story. He heard the story. He just wrote love Shmuel. These are the letters that our children have to get. I don't, is there anything else I could say about this? These are the letters that our wives are waiting to receive from us, the husbands, and the husbands from the wives. When the children go to yeshiva, they're excited to hear the say the Mishnah. They want to see all the black letters. They love learning. Kids love learning. But the chalishing, the, the chalishing for the, for the white parchment. I give you a bracha that your homes, that your lives should be filled with fabrengans that your life should be filled not only with the wonderful black letters of Torah Shabbat Sav and Torah Shabbat Peh, but should be filled with the white letters, the white parchment. Until that day, there will be Zaycha to do a dance with Mashiach Tzakeinu, by the Gulash Ma'amitish, maybe Amen, Amen, Amen. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org.